For more than three decades, the only radio Zimbabweans listened to was on state radio. In 2011, CFM Stereo broke the state monopoly, becoming the country's first privately owned radio station. The CEO of the company that owns the station, which quickly has become the most popular here, says winning listeners from the government broadcaster was easy because people were tired of monotony and wanted variety. And now, even more choices on the way. The more players, the better for any industry. I believe that uh, perhaps what will be the initial effect could be more advertising that will come our way, we hope. We know that there's been a lot of talk about the economy not doing so well, but I actually believe that what it would do for the industry is to push more money into the industry because there are more players. But there have been some controversies. AB Communications, which owns ZFM Stereo, has been given two more licenses. And another existing player, Star FM, part of a media group in which the government has a majority stake, has also been given an additional station. As things stand right now, we are seeing the concentration of ownership in a few hands, uh, which will lead to media monopolies. And monopolies and diversity are always enemies. Media analysts say they would have wanted to see a more diverse distribution. However, the Broadcasting Authority, which issued the licenses on Tuesday, only received 12 applications and says those that were awarded were on merit. One of the new licensees will set up a station in Kariba, one of the remotest parts of the country, and says the opening of the airwaves will bring development and should be celebrated. Kariba is one of those areas that are really in the armpit of the nation as far as broadcasting is concerned. Uh, they do not receive good signal for radio and television. So I think it brought a lot of excitement to the people of Kariba that there is a station that is uh, coming to broadcast its own local news. There is no doubt that ZFM Stereo has been a breath of fresh air for listeners here. And in the coming months, instead of being just restricted to two or three stations, Zimbabweans will have more choice. A step in the right direction for a country which for many years was stuck with just one option. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.